history rocks. Well, he, well history rocks. I mean, <laughs> oh, boy. I'm, I'm trying too hard. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Saturday morning. It is finally fall weather. Dear Lord, we had about a 20 degree temperature drop from yesterday. So we, <laughs> the last day we're gonna get the weather we banked on having. Of course headed, it is a little cloudy today, well, but I can live okay. with that, I can live with that. We're headed for the military park, gonna show you that today. Uh, I think we mentioned there's supposed to be a lot of reenactors out there today. Um, not tomorrow, but the day after is the actual anniversary of the Battle of Kings Mountain. So there's a lot of happenings this weekend uh, over at the military park. So we're gonna share all that with you and maybe even learn a little bit. made it to Kings Mountain National Military Park on a cool actually fall like day. fallish day <laughs> this is kind of what we signed up for <laughs> so check out the visitor center Center and the museum. Step out to the rear. And I guess we can start educating ourselves on the battlefield trail. It's going to go that way. and activities from that time period. It's kind of neat. Very busy. <laughs> Neato man, neato. History rocks. Well, much like over at 96 National Historic Site, we've learned that Kings Mountain National Military Park is also the result of local historical groups over the span of even longer i think span than 96 or definitely since the early 1800s you know local groups were 
working hard to preserve this site and preserve the history and the record history that was that happened here. And we've also learned that this area was a lot less dense as far as the undergrowth goes at the time of the battle. The, the tree canopy was a lot thicker and heavier so a lot of the shorter undergrowth wouldn't have, wouldn't have been here. <laughs> the singing forest. <laughs> Seems the second half of this trail is a little bit more of a workout than the first half. We'll see. the original Daughters of the American Revolution obelisk that was placed here is selfie central. <laughs> we almost had to wait about five minutes for the crowd to thin out some. But of course we're guilty too so you can check Instagram and see that we did it too. This is the location of Major Ferguson's base camp. Major Ferguson the leader of the British slash loyalist slash Tory <laughs> forces. So this is where the last stand happened. There's a marker. This Scottish authority here now is educating me about all the meanings of the imagery on Colonel Ferguson's marker back there. <laughs> Got a lion for England and a unicorn for Scotland because he's from Scotland. Now you know. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> American victors. <laughs> Was it Bill Murray said in stripes about we're Americans. We're 10, one and one. But we're American soldiers. We've been kicking ass for 200 years. We're 10 and 1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Korea was a tie and Vietnam was kind of sort of a loss. But mm -mm. If you have to explain it, it's not as funny. Mm -hmm. And I guess to be fair, the other side were kind of Americans too. And now I think I see the visitor center through the foliage. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I see the route. There we go. So we're all, we're almost have almost completed the loop now. And thus concludes Kings Mountain National Military Park. What do you think? I enjoyed it. It was beautiful scenery, nice, cool all day yes, 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 yes but i was a little disappointed being that it was the anniversary of the event i thought there would be more going on and it was just not like some of the other military parks we've been to yeah i, I, I guess i have 
the same reaction, and I don't want to say, and again, this is sound like a like a, a negative review kind of thing, and I, it's not. It's no, not because no. it, again, I said mm-hmm. earlier, it's a lovely place. It's a nice, peaceful mm-hmm. place, and it's very easy, well, at least it was for me, to 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 imagine the events as mm-hmm. they happen here. I've been to other historical sites where time and and development has changed the, the landscape enough that it's a little yeah. bit, it's a bit hard to kind of envision what happened here. That's not the case. I had an easy time seeing in my mind's eye what happened here. Uh, but I, I guess I was, <laughs> without any reason, just expecting there to be more interactive exhibits. Um, right. We knew about these reenactors that were going to be mm-hmm. here today. And, and there was a, a good little spot, a side spot, where there were some reenactments going on, mm-hmm. some demonstrations of, of cooking and camping and and barrel making mm-hmm. and things like that. Right. But I just I, I for some reason I expected there to be more of it. And yeah. and there wasn't. So I, and you and yeah, that's nobody's fault, I guess, but ours. So. We were just I guess a little more you know, looking forward to something big and, mm. you know, showy. Something more interactive. <laughs> yeah. But but again, not to knock it because uh, for the third time, it's a lovely place, and we certainly mm-hmm. encourage anybody to come see it. If you have any interest in American history, as with every National Park Service site we've ever been to, the folks are terrific, mm-hmm. answer questions happily, and and are always glad to volunteer information. That's right. Uh, so if you're ever up in the, in the what is this? This would be the northeastern corner of South Carolina, I guess it would be. Um, and you, you had the opportunity to swing by here. You should come here and spend an hour or two. It's, it's a nice, a nice way to kill a couple hours. To kill a couple hours. That's not good. That's way to spend a couple hours <laughs> <laughs> and broaden your historical horizons. Or even if you just want to stretch your legs, this is an amazing park to just walk, especially with all the changes in elevation and the beautiful scenery. It's mm. it's really really nice. So on that note, I think we're going to go back to the campsite and get into the fall relaxation mode <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon before we have to start breaking down and head back tomorrow. So, until next time, what is that thing we always tell them to do? Keep living and learning. That's it, yeah. <laughs>